Let me show you what I believe to be the most underrated Indian restaurant in the whole of Thameside. I just can't understand why it doesn't get mentioned more. We're at Vivas Staley Bridge. The decor and interior is really impressive and the restaurant is spotlessly clean. Just before we get onto the food, I want to shout out Iqbal and the team. Some of the most friendly and efficient staff I've ever had at any restaurant. Date night. If you want the petals, make sure you request them in the special request when booking. We started off with some mocktails and a glass of red for Leah. They do serve alcohol here, and outside of central Manchester, they have one of the most impressive bars I've ever seen with their drink selection. They have everything you can think of, including this limited edition Game of Thrones whiskey. Now onto the food. You know it's a curry house, so it's a legal requirement. You have to start off with a poppadoms and chutney tray. Nice selection of chutneys, decent portion sizes, and nice crispy poppadoms can't go wrong how do you eat your poppadoms i like to get a bit of everything red onions bit of chutney bit of hot sauce bit of yogurt and then just deep throat the thing. usually get it over my top so i've done pretty well there starters time i got the meaty starter and leah got the veggie starter i got the creamy garlic chicken chicken lollipops whereas leah got onion barges veggie pakoras, veggie samo. Then I also got two flavours of lamb chops and a cheesy donkey dick. And Leah also got this paneer dish, can't remember the name of. As you can see here, the presentation is absolutely on point and the flavours match up, unlike a lot of other places. Just did our usual, ordered too much starters and ended up full before the mains even come out. This was the chicken lollipop. Caressed it very nicely before I tucked away. <laughs> it was like fried chicken, but fried chicken tikka with Indian spices and sauces. It was phenomenal. Next up, I had the lamb chops. The flavours were there. You could tell that just by looking at them. But did it fall off the bone? Yes, it did. The perfect lamb chop. Spot on. Next up, it's been a while. We had the donkey dick. This wasn't only a donkey dick, though. It was a cheesy donkey dick. The donkey hadn't had a wash for a while. Now nah, I'm joking. That's disgusting. We were in the centre of Staley Bridge, so it was only right to do what a lot of women do on the weekend in the centre of Staley Bridge, and that's deep throw the ting. It was big. It was girthy. It was the delicious this donkey dick proved that size does actually matter right off the dirty talk now i'm disgusted in myself leah's veggie options was also very lovely mouth watering dishes what were cooked to perfection she did keep buzzing off the onion barges and they did look phenomenal couple of proper cocktails ordered now porn star martini and the viva special chin chin onto the mains we've got a variety of different curries to try including a veggie one a fish one a paneer one a prawn one and my personal favorite the lamb one sorry i can't remember any of the names but they were delicious beavis rice cut very nice garlic and coriander naan hit the spot and yes it did taste even better than what it looks these spicy cheesy chips i've never seen in a curry house before it was exceptional i always order chips at a curry house and end up leaving most of them but these got demolished basically mate all the food we had was really tasty massive compliments to the chef i love how they give you a nice break between courses and they was always asking you how you was but they wasn't mithering you too much if that makes sense portions were massive too we had a massive doggy bag to take home what did us for the next day next time you're out and you fancy going for a curry give vivas in staley bridge a go and you won't be disappointed we got the rubicon mango every time managed to get all my catchphrases in in this video give it a rip flare Woo!